In the early in the early 1970s, Carnegie Institute built a new wing, which was to house the Museum of Art. The Carnegie Institute is a combination of the Museum of Art, the Museum of Natural History, and then recently the Warhol Museum. And they felt the need to expand the spaces available for the exhibition of art. And with the support of the Skate Foundation, they built this whole building designed by Edward Barnes. And a key part of that on the ground floor was a theater of well, a wonderful intimate theater just under 200 seats that yes was going to serve for talks and so forth but a large reason for the Museum of Art Theater was that Sally could show the films that she was showing. It was a space for her. But this new intimate theater was really intended in large part for Sally's films and she played a real part in designing it. I mean she was I remember when that was being built, she would say, oh, they were going to do this and we had to change that. No, no, we can't have that. You know, we need whatever it was that she wanted. I can't recall exactly the specifics. But she wanted to make sure that that theater was exactly what she needed to show the films and in particular the kind of intimacy that she needed for personal, one-on-one, -on -one, for personal screenings by independent filmmakers, experimental filmmakers.